Good evening. A former gang member says he's planning to sue West Midlands police after he was shot in the chest by an officer last summer. Youth worker Sharif Cousins was fired at in an alley outside his home in Frankly last July. He faces no charges and he says he was unarmed. The Independent Office for Police Conduct will be publishing the findings of its investigation into the circumstances of the shooting soon, but the force says it has the highest confidence in its firearms officers. Mr Cousins says he feels he's being targeted because of his criminal past. Susie Rack reports. West Midlands Police hadn't shot anyone in 17 years, but that all changed one day last July. The victim's been named locally as Sharif Cousins, a former gang member, in fact a former member of the Burger Bar Boys. Mr Cousins was shot in the chest in an alley near his Birmingham home. He nearly died that night, but hasn't faced any charges and says he can't understand why he was shot. I seen a flash of the gun and I didn't actually believe it happened. And like, I was like, you just actually shot me. I'm, I'm looking at the police and I'm saying, you, you really just shot me. The man he was with, 21-year-old Jamil Scarlett, wasn't hurt, but has since been jailed for 16 years for drugs and firearms offences. This is the alleyway near his Frankly home where Sharif Cousins was shot. He says he'd done nothing wrong. He was unarmed and his hands were in the air. He's convinced that police are targeting him because of his criminal past, a past he can't put behind him. Police can't comment yet on the circumstances of the shooting, but they do say that use of force must be justified. It must be absolutely necessary. The officer must have an honest belief that either themselves or a member of the public is in immediate danger and threat to their life. In his former life as a gang member, Sharif did once threaten a police officer with a gun. He was jailed for eight years for it. Some people might not have a lot of sympathy for yeah. a former gang member being shot. How would you respond to that? I did make a mistake. I paid for that mistake. You know, I'm not happy. I'm not um, proud of what I did. Do you know what I mean? But I've done my time for that. You can't want to tar me with, like, forever as being that person. Listen, what you know about living on a gunner's way? When he was released from prison, he became a youth worker and set out to help young men steer away from gang culture. Music is a main key because, you know, everybody listens to music and we, we find out that's a way to tap into the younger generation and stuff like that. But he that. says armed officers have been sent out to him four times in the past two years and thinks he's the victim of police harassment. Police say they're following procedure. Every deployment of a firearms operation is authorised and commanded by a senior officer. Clearly, if somebody has a previous conviction for possession of a firearm, that will have a bearing on the decision of that senior officer to deploy a firearms uh, response to that threat. The Independent Office for Police Conduct is due to publish its findings on the circumstances of the shooting soon. Sharif Cousins has hired a lawyer to seek compensation. Susie Rack, BBC Midlands Today. And you can read more about this on the BBC Birmingham and Black Country website. Police 